Okay, I'm filming on my phone again because my battery ran out on my camera, which doesn't happen very often, but it's happened. So I pop this on the on your on its side, the phone, because the last time I did it on my um, camera, I had it like upright, so it meant that the screen was a bit weird when watching online. So hopefully, this might sort that out. I don't know if it will, but we'll we'll see. So I'm making Elijah's comfort again. So some new subbies may not have seen the old videos. Wipe. Use these dental wipes all the time. So yeah, Elijah. I'm running low, so I thought I better do this. And I really need to make lagoon, but I've run out of lavender oil, believe it or not. So there are quite a few things I've been making a list as I'm going along today for the new oils that I need to order, or just oils I need to restock. Blah blah blah. Okay, I'm going to just pour lye into oil. So this is a larger batch. This one we get about 45, 50 bars, something like that. Just depends how it gets cut as to how many we get. And this also if the surface is sort of the same all the way up the soap, because some have been coming out a bit. Um, what's the word? <laughs> My brain's kind of gone, it's now 20 past 2, and I've been making soap all morning, so I'm kind of in the zone. Right, I'm going to whiz it up. Okay. 
Now I've got red rose petals and red clay mixed together in here. I love the smell of this so much. It's probably one of the nicest soaps I think I ever invented. If I do say so myself, it's just stood the test of time and it always is just so lovely to use, always. It's a beautiful scent. And I'm not really a lemongrass fan, but I put it in like just a bit. It's like about a 20% of the fragrance is lemongrass. And I've never really been much of a lemongrass fan because I ate it once at a Wagamama restaurant and they put too much in and it just put me off completely. But used to sort of lift a scent, I think it's perfect. As long as you don't smell too much of the lemongrass. Like, it's, ugh, it's really cloying and not at all nice. But, well, to me it's not. It's just personal preference. But, yeah, I'm not massively into it. I did a water discount on this soap and what happened but I'm a bit more with it now and after some help from Kim I got it right so I don't usually have too many issues with a water discount anymore but that first lot oh my god it's so awful because of the essential oils used in this. I used geranium and ylang ylang and orange. And the geranium and ylang ylang are really two expensive oils. And oh, you just can't afford for them to go wrong. But that one went kind of wrong. I lost a few bars, but still managed to salvage it. But now I kind of got it right. I don't worry so much, but still have to work relatively fast. I 
organising. You don't have like 10 minutes to mess about with the design or anything like that. It's just kind of going to the mould. And we can play a bit. So there's not been many videos up on YouTube recently that I, like my soap making friends, I don't know where you've all gone. You seem to have disappeared a bit. Well, it just doesn't seem to be as many. I know Holly's done some and a breath of French air, Elizabeth's done some. But, I don't know. I don't know where everyone seems to disappear to. Redentia Farms, Bonnie, she's been doing a few. But, yeah, it's been a bit crap, hasn't it, lately? Kia, she did loads. That was good to watch all of those. Sorry if I didn't leave loads of comments, but I, a lot of the time I watch on my phone in the evenings. And it's just a bit of a pain sometimes to leave comments on a phone. I don't know. I should make more effort. <laughs> anyway. This is gorgeous today. That's gone really well. So, there we go. Elijah is finished. I'll bring you round without stopping the bloody video. So from the top, all the way down to the end. Okay, ta-ta!